Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I highlight and contour with the Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in medium, medium, medium. Um, okay, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to contour my round faces. I do have a round face. Um, but, oh yeah, basically, I'm in love with this. I am so in love, like, okay. Do you realize how big this is? Um, it's each little cream is 16, well, not 16 ounces, 0 0.16 ounces, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's pretty big. Um, I've had the, the powder. I wasn't a big fan. I didn't see any wowness to it. If, if that makes sense like I wasn't impressed at all it was just powders to me I didn't but this is not about that but this as like as soon as I got it I was like this this is it this is it like I was surprised I didn't think they were gonna be this big like I don't know what could I compare it to okay you see this L'Oreal um nail polish like it's as big as that like this this is the whole like square thing like that is pretty big and I totally recommend it like okay the consist cons con consistency cons 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 consistency I so I was saying it in my head like a bunch of times and I'm just like what my tongue I always get tongue tied it's weird um my the consistency did I just not say it? Okay, you guys have proof that I said it. But okay, it's like really, really creamy. It's really, really pigmented, like <gasps> pigmented. Um. <clears throat> okay, it's like super, super pigmented. The yellow, it's like super pigmented, but yet super blendable to me, honestly. Um, I recommend it if you don't have that much experience in contour, use a brush. Use like a really, like a buffer brush, like this. A synthetic really thick brush um do you do blenders you could um but if you're like new to this i recommend a brush because this is going to help you so much it's going to help you buff it out even like way better than the beauty blender like don't get me wrong the beauty blender well this is not the beauty blender this is like a faux beauty blender a fake one um but maybe it will i don't know maybe it will help you better with the beauty blender but since i have the fake one um i kind of prefer brushes like this is really cool like it does like like i recommend this for like here where it's like you kind of just want to roll it you don't want to blend it as much and you can just blend out the edges that's awesome but for contouring i recommend a brush a very thick like brush this ebay brush perfect less less than 20 bucks 20 bucks for like 10 of them so yeah um and i would like have like Whatever I use, I would have a download, 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 download um, on the description bar. And okay, back to this. Um, so it comes with six. It comes with banana, cream, warm coral, nude, cinnamon, and chocolate. Love. Um, nude, I don't use it as much because it's almost the same like as my skin color. So if anything, I would probably use this on top. If, like there was a certain place that was so stubborn that couldn't like super blend so I would like probably put this on top and help that blend um, but yeah, banana as you might as well know everybody uses it under eye brightening super awesome um, cream like okay so cream um, basically that's like the perfect highlight color for anything okay it just highlights doesn't brighten just highlights warm coral this is actually a really awesome that they use one curl in here because if you have really really like I'm talking about really really bad under eyes um, I would recommend using one curl first buff it in blend it out super really well and on top put banana it's gonna make like the biggest difference in the world if you like whether you would have just used banana one curl and honestly if you could like do your whole face just on this you don't even have to use concealer in anything if I mean, unless you have like suit, like really like if you, I don't know, if you have really problematic areas in your skin, then you know what? If you want like, if you are to like super into the full coverage, then you know use whatever you want. But I'm saying you could like you could 
look you can like really just do your whole face no no foundation or anything i always like to use the base just to even out my skin tone that's it um but nude like i said awesome like maybe it would help for some somebody else but for me it's basically the same as my skin tone color and oh cinnamon cinnamon is awesome um because cinnamon use it like mostly to warm up your face kind of use it as a transitional color um use it to contour your your jawline use it as a transitional for um your cheekbones and up to like temples your forehead it all depends on like if you have a bigger forehead then obviously you're gonna want to use a little bit more um contour if you have a problem with having a big forehead but okay but basically chocolate chocolate is more to define well to me i think it's more to define you could obviously just use chocolate by itself or just use cinnamon by itself but to me i like to go in with cinnamon and then define more with chocolate which you know what pretty so you can see it's a little bit dirty because i've used it like you don't know how much i've used this um and that's because i'm not like i would if i were to do my face and contour every day this is the only thing that i would use you don't have to use this but i mean if you have the money for it go ahead if you don't go ahead and just get like maybe um i lost it i don't know where it's at but um just go ahead and get a light and dark foundation like lighter shades and darker shades of foundations for your face but if you do have the money for it you're interested totally get this you love cream contours get this because you are not gonna go wrong at all like i recommend this so much and for other people, like, because this is me, I have oily skin, you know, I've got, well, I don't have oily skin, super oily, but it's, like, more of a combination skin, um, but if you do have dry skin, you could use, I've seen Manny and Jaclyn Hill, um, use oils, the Tarte oil, you could use that, you could use the Josie Art, I forgot what it's called, oil, you could use that, or, if anything, you could just use the, your normal, um, primer, 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 but I do recommend you, taking it out not taking it out but like scraping maybe a little bit maybe if you don't have a spatula you can use the back of your um of your tweezers just like use a little hand sanitizer on it wipe it off and scrape that up a little bit put it either in the back of your hand maybe a plate if you have a plate or like somewhere where you could blend it out and not blend it out like mix this either like the serum the oil or the um primer on it but besides that um actually i think this is pretty awesome like i give it a four out of four five stars um this is amazing Anastasia you did really awesome in this like I applaud you but this is worth the money you know recommend you should totally buy yes study so approved um you might need to do like a approval sign right here like a stamp like study so approves yeah um yeah, so I think that's it. Um, if you stayed this long and watched the intro, amazing. Like this video, subscribe, please. Um, follow me on Instagram if you like. But after this, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did it. And yeah, and... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching and keep on watching. Alright, so um, I started off with my base and my eyebrows, so that's done. And for, like, usually I'm using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet and 60. And Holy Grail, love this. And for primer, I'm using the Perfection Mattifying Primer. And uh, this is my first time using it. I got it, like, as a free gift. And I kind of really like it, like, it really does minimize your pores. Like, okay, this is not a review for this, but you know what? If you guys want a review on that, then I'll give it to you because I kind of really like it. Uh, um, and I just mixed those together with the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator, which I low key, not low key, but like I really love this too. So yeah. But um, okay, well, I'm just gonna start off with yellow, not yellow, but it's called banana in my, yeah, it's called banana. And what I'm gonna do is put it like under, under, under. And I usually put a little bit on the nose just because I do like a little bit more highlight on the nose. So yeah, um, what I'm using is, where's my brush? Just this like concealer brush. And yeah, let me use makeup, you're gonna blend. 
I'm gonna put like a little bit, tiny bit on the nose, like right here. And then I'm gonna go up with, what is this? I'm gonna go up with cream, this, right, this one right here, the middle shade. And this is like the perfect highlight shade, like I think this is like the same um, color that I use for my eyebrows, like right here to highlight them. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna go up. Because we want to highlight, we don't want to brighten, and that's what the yellow is for, to brighten up your eyes and make them like, oh my god, look at her eyes, she looks so awake. I'm going to put them like, kind of like around the mouth, brought her, I look really tan, um, and like, I am like Mexican, so I do have a tan obviously, but um, like I look kind of darker, which I'm like low-key kind of liking, and right here on the jaw. Like, just not the jaw, but like a little bit above the jaw. Um, I kind of like to do it after I kind of contour just to like see if I do need the highlight so I can highlight it. Um, but yeah, that's like basically it. If you want to like add right here under your brow bone, but mostly everybody already has used like concealer, but you know, let's do some there. And now we're gonna go with this um brush that's just kind of like slanted, and I'm gonna go in with. Cinnamon, this middle one right here. Um, and like, okay, so okay, well, not talking about that, but okay, you're gonna, you're gonna, if you like, kind of suck in your cheekbones, you're gonna go from like the corner of your ears to like the corner of your mouth. And if you want, you could just like take another pencil or a brush and then go out on top, like use it as a stencil. And I like first warming it up like this is gonna be kind of a transition color because we are gonna be using the darker one just to like kind of define it a little bit more I use the same trick and a little bit on the forehead if you do have like a wider forehead you know what you could like kind of like go around but yeah. it's the same which is like kind of narrowing it down. Um, I'm right here for the jawline. What I'll, you want to just start off with like right here, kind of like by the bottom of your ear, and then like just like an L, a slow L. Because a lot of times I've noticed when people do contour, they like like they do all of like your whole like to define the whole jaw, which is pretty cool. But um, which is like it's really really awesome. But the thing is, a lot of times. Since it is a darker shade, a lot of times it doesn't end up looking just like a shade. It ends up looking like you've you you don't have the same foundation color. You get me? Like it's mix mix matched, and so yeah. This purpose, we're just gonna go inside right here. Do you see that line? Just like that, not too in. But perfectly should we just see at this angle yeah I kind of like this angle um with a zoom angle yeah so where are, oh the nose I forgot about the nose and it all depends I can tell you go even further up go even further down depend do you want a wider nose or do you want a thinner nose and a lot of people go for thinner nose which is alright but I already kind of do like believe that I have like some of a small nose so I don't like to do it too inside because then it's gonna look like really pointy like what was her name on RuPaul I forgot her name but she's like the first one to go in season seven and or season six I don't know I forget probably most likely season six I think this is season seven and her nose was like a swordfish but that's contouring for you change your whole face up um, and if you don't already have your like eyeshadows and everything done you could go ahead and like go inside here to connect it so it won't just like look like whoa where does that shadow in? I don't know it ends in my eyes what yes it makes sense I don't know maybe and for a little bit of news you could do that that is a little bit more of it mm. that's okay so let's we're gonna blend out the contour first And to remember, um, oh, <laughs> contour, like the shade contouring, you blend in 
and the highlight you blend out. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, that's life. This is a neat. So you see? It's more like a transition color. It just looks a little bit tanner. But um we're gonna go in later and then and when especially when you do it towards like around your forehead, you always wanna blend into your hairline because um no shade but I've seen it like and a lot like a lot of people it, that it's like you can see their scalp and it's like really really white and like their face the face their face is like super super tan it's just like I could see that I could see that like so just remember to blend into your hairline because you do not want to rock around like what if you go bald and you're over here contouring and you're so used to contouring that you don't even like notice and you're just like whoa I have a really white head and a really tan face what is this you're just like damn it I should have learned when that I told me to blend it in I should have listened and I'm gonna be here like girl it's okay it's okay you could just learn See right here, you want to blend into your ear. Not like literally in your ear, but like, you know. Because the same thing with your ear. You don't want your ear to be super white and your face to be super tanned. You want it to be about the same color. Double chin galore. So yeah, see? I'm bronzed. I'm more bronzed than contoured, but you know, we'll go in with the dark shade. Over here, around the nose. Um, up to you, but I do like using a smaller brush. You could use it. It, it will be easier to contour with a bigger brush, but you know what? We're gonna take the difficult stuff. Blend in. It's kind of blending out already. Your highlight. You know the highlight. Like. And I notice what a lot of people do, it's like, okay, it is like contouring and highlighting. And you do want to create shape, like shapes, not shapes, shades in your thing. But I notice that like with those, I feel like go towards a warmer color, like instead of a cool tone. Because I notice a lot of times with the cool tone, it starts to look muddy and dirty when you blend your nose. I've noticed that in a lot of people. And it's just like, just not like learn from other people's mistakes kind of. Like, I mean, if you're if so for this step, I'm just quickly gonna um blend out the edges of the of this under eye brightness, and I'm just gonna tap it so there won't be any creases or anything, and I'm just gonna tap it all over my eye and the top of it um, so that I can blend it out. And the same thing goes with the forehead highlight and the chin highlight. We're just gonna blend this out instead of going inwards. We're gonna blend it out, and yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to do a voiceover and redo it because I didn't like what I was saying. It's not like I was saying anything. I was just basically talking about the same thing that I talked about in the intro. So yeah. Now I'm just seeing if everything's really blended. I noticed the the bridge of my nose wasn't blended. So I went in with a bigger brush and then I went back with the, the same brush that I used in the beginning and make sure that everything was nice and blended. Look, step back and look at yourself and be like, okay, is everything blended out? I don't think it's like so we're going to out right here so that's what we're going to do you know true no like once you've like said oh I'm done don't go wide wide away right away and like set take a step back and like and be like okay is everything blended in nope okay go back and blend blend out Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm using oh, I'm using um, Morphe on the crease, ColourPop on the lid, Italia eyeliner, um, Kat Von D, L U V, everlasting lip, everlasting liquid lipstick on the lid. 
Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm using oh, I'm using um, Morphe on the crease, ColourPop on the lid, Italia eyeliner, um, Kat Von D, uh, UV everlasting lip, everlasting liquid lipstick on the lid. Mascara. I used Magna Voluminous from I wish I get. I think it's L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal. And the real mask is Rosewood. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share this video. Um, yeah. I got kind of like suck brain part. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I don't know what to, how to end this video, but love you guys.